Hi hey everybody, Cappy here. Yeah, haven't been around for a while on uh, YouTube, um, basically because I've been extremely busy with schoolwork. So, uh, what I want to do today in our academy um, session this morning, um, we were having a look at uh, my instructor um, painting a tree and I'm going to do something, uh, just a demo, quick demo, in pastels. Uh, these are these are professional pastels, professional set of pastels. Um, you do get cheaper ones. Um, so I'm going to look at a, a tree. I, I'm going to keep it just a small tree. So I'll keep it this way instead of uh, landscape, instead of portrait. Um, and I'm going to go with... Uh, this color here, it's a green, greeny yellow type color, which I will start the outline of my tree on. So I'm going to start on this side here, just lay in a base, and then draw a shape. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm taking the uh, pastel and I'm twisting and turning as I go in order to get a a shape um, that I that I like. So that will be the base for the tree. Let me just fold this paper in half so that I can bring it a lot closer. So, you know, what I'm doing is I'm using uh, Chinese practice paper here and <clears throat> I'm going to start working on different shades in the tree now. So I'm going to I want that color. I had that one for the base. Bring that out. I've got that one. I might introduce a red, orangey brown. I've got a dark one. And then I will also use the black charcoal, uh, well, the black colored pastel as well. So I'm going to start working in. some additional lines onto onto this piece and I do use my finger to do blending that way we get a nice blend now if you look at trees in nature they are not actually brown. Well, they do have shades of brown in them. They are not 100% brown. So, let me just add in some I'm just working on the main part of the tree here. Now I'm using my finger for this. You can use a blending stick. You can use tissue paper as well. And on this piece of rice paper that I'm using, I'm using the rough side of the, the paper. It has a bit of a grain on it. And with pastel, what you're doing, well, in most mediums, you build up layers. And so this is what we are doing here right now. 
is building up building up some layers if you're worried about smudging on the paper what you can do is you can use an, um, some cooking paper which I've baking sheet which I've used before and I use that just to put rest my hand on but I've since learned to keep as far as possible keep my hand off the paper so So we're just getting these colors in and blending them in. And you can see that there is a barky texture building up. Because that is what you are trying to achieve, is that tree-like texture. Gnarly old tree. So I'm not doing any highlights or anything I get at the moment. I'm just laying in some color to establish layers at the moment. I need to get some darker tones into this one. And Excuse me. Um, you'll notice that I'm doing short strokes down the tree now. Um, essentially, we've done the the, the main colouring, the, the blocking in, and now I'm going to work on some texture, and I'll work on highlights as well, as well as some shading, shadow side. And so I'm just, with the sharper edges, just running in some, some strokes up the length of the tree. I may or may not smooth them out again. It just depends on how you feel. You want to work with this tree. Getting in some nice layering here. Yeah. Want the want some roots to come out at the bottom. Of course, those will also have additional colour to them. These pestles, <coughs> excuse me, I'm using are from Mangyo. I believe they are a Korean pestle. I don't have the cover for them. 
and find the curvature of that. Disappeared. These are the soft pastels, and these are um, not professional quality. Actually, these are the cheaper ones, but I'm using the same brand name, Mungo. M-U-N-G-Y-O, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and um, I believe they are from Korea, and uh, I'm enjoying them, I pretty much like these ones, and um, so what we're doing is we're building up texture here, and I'm getting in, this is going to be almost like a knot in the tree, so... I'm going to use some black in there now. Just to accentuate some of these lines. So, we are building up the layers, and this is just a quick and easy one. Um, I'm not going to go into too much too much work on this. I'm not going to do too much work on this as a, I'm using it as a demo. So you can get an idea of how I go about doing these trees. And um, I do very much a similar technique when I'm doing acrylics uh, in, in the layering of um, doing my trees. Some dark over here. I'm to bring that into the part of the tree. this section to stand out from that back piece that's going up there. And I will add some black onto that as well. So essentially, that is how I do my tree. Um, you can, of course, go in and, and add to the whole scene if um, you yeah, open it up. I could then put in some additional uh, things, maybe, maybe some rocks we want some dogs in here and we'll give that a little blend with the finger We want some shadow. We can bring a bit of that darker brown tone in here. 
and just add a touch of, of black to that and then I blend that in with the finger just a touch of shadow maybe the sun is actually from directly above so I'll make this into a little vignette And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whoever may be watching, is just a quick uh, demo of how I do and work on my trees. Um, I could probably go on for another 30, 40 minutes on the tree, uh, but I'm pretty happy with the kind of shape that I've achieved here. Um, I may want to just put in some and a touch of dark under this limb to bring that limb out just to indicate that this limb is in front of that one at the back and I'll just add in a touch of that Okay, uh, that's all from me, folks. From me, Cappy, have a great day and keep arting. Cheers.